Hello there, Nate Bruno. <clears throat> E3 is coming and gone, and now it's time to board the hype train once again. There are a few games that I am personally excited for. Now, some of these you may find uh, a little obvious. Like, for example, Final Fantasy VII Remake that we can expect on the 3rd of March. And then we also have the Avengers game, which is going to be released on the 15th of May. Outer Worlds on the 25th of October, Cyberpunk on the 16th of April, and Doom on the 22nd of November. Now, the next few are purely in VR. And that being said, not all of them are going to be hitting the PlayStation VR or Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So I'm personally not going to be able to play them yet. However, they're still they're still going to be good and still worth looking into. Like for example, Pistol Whip is coming soon to major major VR headsets which go, are likely to include the Rift S, the Vive, and the Valve Index. We also have Aspire 1 in August that I'm looking forward to. That one is going to be released on all headsets, which is go which are going to include the PlayStation VR and the Oculus Quest. So something to look forward to there. Of course, Rogan, the Thief in the Castle, is going to be good for Steam VR, released later this year. And Disciples of Dawn is going to be leaving early access later this year for PC VR. So your Vive, Rift, and Valve Index. And Soul Keeper VR, at the moment it's just getting ready to leave early access and only available on the Rift and the Vive. However, depending on fan, fan reveal and how much we actually care for the game, it's possible that they may expand to either Windows Mixed Reality or the Quest or maybe even PlayStation VR. Now, those last two though, the Quest and PlayStation VR, may not really be realistic just because they're lower powered headsets. Those are all the games that I'm personally excited for. Don't forget to tell me how you guys are looking forward to those as well as any others in the comments down below. And now here's a few that you might get excited for. These include Wolfenstein Youngblood, which is coming out on the 26th of July. Guardians of the Sea is in early access now for Steam VR. And then I Expect You to Die 2, which is going to be released on all headsets on the 16th of July. Then After the Fall is going to be released sometime in 2020. It's That one is a zombie survival horror game. Set to be released on PC VR headsets. And then Wizards is going to be released on the 19th of July. This one is kind of worth getting excited for because rather than the typical button press that you would use to cast your spells, it would use just your based casting. So if you're going to cast a fireball, you need to actually put your hands together and make the, well, the gesture. We also have Meat Fortress, which is going to be coming to Steam VR on the 28th of June. Budget Cuts PlayStation is going to be coming to PlayStation VR in the fall of 2019. The Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets is going to be released in the fall of 2019 to all headsets. Doctor Who in the Edge of Time is going to be released this fall to all VR headsets. Lo-Fi is going to be released in on PlayStation or uh, PC VR, but that one is just going to be kickstarting here in the summer. So don't look forward. I wouldn't hold your breath anytime soon for it to get released as a full version. And finally, we also have Hotel R&R launching in early access this summer for PC VR headsets. So those are all the games that you might get excited for. They're mostly VR games though. 
a couple more that you may get excited for include uh, the Lego thing for Forza Horizon, which is going to be launching at the end of the week on the 13th. And then on top of that, there's a, a few games that Microsoft covered, but yeah, chances are you're gonna be looking forward to a few games that I didn't quite cover this list. So be sure to let me know in the comments down below which games you are personally looking forward to.